Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe summoned State Minister of Child Affairs Vijay Kalamaheswaran to Colombo yesterday, seeking an explanation on her pro-LTTE remarks made recently in Jaffna. <laughs> Although journalists were waiting in expectation of her return from the discussion, she slipped away avoiding media. Today, she tendered her resignation to the President and the Prime Minister. It is understood that she decided to tender her resignation from her state ministerial position after the talks with the Prime Minister. Meanwhile, protests were held in several areas of the country, demanding former State Minister Vijay Kala be brought to book. Chief Minister of the Northern Province C.V. Vigneswaran meanwhile spoke to media yesterday and said that security in the Northern Province was guaranteed during the times when the terror group LTTE had a grip of the North. He added that violence in the North can be brought to an end if the military is removed from the North with police powers also granted to the province. Chief Minister Vigneswaran went on to say that there were no other hindrances during the reign of the LTTE except the war. In the meantime, suicide bombers of the LTTE were celebrated in several areas of the northern province today. Dubbed the Black Tigers Day, memorials were organised in memory of the LTTE suicide arms leader called Miller. <laughs> Messages of awareness on the so-called Black Tigers Day were seen scribbled in the area of Akarayan Kulam. Investigations into the matter are being conducted by the Akarayan Kulam Police. Meanwhile, the pro-LTTE remarks made by former State Minister Vijay Kala continue to draw opinions today as well. Earnest request and an appeal from the people in this country, Sinhalese, Tamils and Muslims, not to get excited and react over the statement made by the foolish Minister Vijay Kala Maheshwara. Her very intention is to create a chaotic situation in the country so that she and her people in the diaspora, separatist Tamil group, can go to the world and say there is another ethnic conflict in Sri Lanka. The husband of Vijay Kala, Maheshwaran, was a colleague of mine in parliament. He was killed by the LTTE. That day Vijay Kala was weeping, howling, crying, rolling on the floor, cursing the LTTE for killing her husband. Governor of the Western Province, Nanai Kara, went on to say that former State Minister Vijay Kala's remarks in promotion of terrorism violated the constitution and therefore should be expelled from parliament. Vijay Kala has flouted our constitution. According to the constitution, all the MPs, ministers, everyone has to take a oath saying that we will uphold our constitution by which it is prohibited to help any separatist movement by virtue of expressing opinion or by acting or by deeds. Members of parliament should have a spine to sack her from parliament according to the law of the land. Vast majority of the Tamil people are not for the LTT. They want peace and harmony. This government and the last government have done a lot of work to improve the northern and eastern provinces. No matter what problems we have in the country, terrorists cannot be allowed to raise their heads once more. Action should be taken against her politically. If she forgot that her husband was murdered by the LTTE, it is not a big deal to forget about what they did to the country. PM has instructed to conduct an investigation and measures will be taken accordingly. Her husband, the former MP, Mayeshan, was killed by LTTE. And because of her husband's death, she was able to come to the parliament. So that means anybody can suspect that she also must be having a hand in her husband's murder. Under our constitution, anybody who harbors or who encourages or who profess, who lectures, finance a separatism in this country is uh, punishable. And in the constitution it says the civic rights can be forfeited for seven years and also all the properties can be confiscated. So I think not only uh, removing portfolio of, of uh, Vijayakala Mahishan is sufficient, but she should be expelled from the parliament. We are waiting to see disciplinary action against her, as well as whether the president will implement the law in this regard. We have received several complaints in this regard and we will investigate these complaints. We clearly state that we will not allow the LTTE to raise their heads once more. Let's go.